Now, I'm gonna, if the Lord lets me, I'm going to preach on this creative power tomorrow night. Hallelujah. But just in case, I just wanted to, to drop this in your spirit because whenever the Lord gave it to me in my study, I'm like, wow. Hallelujah. It, 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 was, it hit me so hard. I said, well, I got to go see what some other people say about this. I got to make sure it ain't hitting me. You know, sometimes we, we, we get stuff. You can take one scripture and get in a mess if you ain't careful. Come on now. We kept the women down for a long time. But one scripture, take out of context, hallelujah, and, and, and a lot of men chauvinists and, and messed up, so I got to study and look at hallelujah. But the scripture that the Lord gave me was Isaiah 57 in the first part, in verse 19. And it said, I create the fruit of the lips. Hallelujah. And with that, whenever I heard it, because I was studying to preach on being careful what we say, hallelujah,
But then what, what so many people, and this ain't bashing on the disciples by no means, but what so many people, the way I, I feel in my spirit about it is, even God called for prayer warriors. Come on. But they fell asleep on me. Hey, man. And, and that's just something God really has stirred in my spirit is that, that he not call for a prayer warrior. Is it that, that Christ needed it? Not so much. But it has everything to do with express the sincerity of prayer, the power of prayer. Bless God. And even more than that, the power of intercessory prayer. You know, the prayer that's gonna the prayer that's gonna change that one loved one that's hooked on everything that they could be hooked on. Come on. Or that one loved one that just simply don't know God. Great person, but you know what? Good person ain't gonna get you into into heaven. It's only on. one way. Come on. That I know of to get through. For it's straight and narrow. Come on. But broad is the way that leads to destruction. Bless God. I mean, they're going by the multitude to hell. And I'm on my way up. But you know what? I'm going to try to grab as many people as I can. Come on. I'm going to try to reach the ones that this person over here can't reach. You know what? That's where I need to take up the slack because I might be able to reach them. But you know what? Even if I can't, even if I just plant to see that somebody else's job to also come behind me and water me, to nourish me. It doesn't happen overnight, but you know what? It does happen from that one stranger that you don't even know yelling out the window, Jesus loves you. I mean, it's those three words that say Jesus loves you that just the power of those words breaks depression. That's right. Destroys addiction. Come on. Destroys the yoke. That's right. Bless it's the powers in those words. It's not. I believe it whenever I say it. So it throws power into it because I believe in what I'm saying. But it's not. That's that's all I have in it. It's, it's believing. Amen. But you know what? It's God's, it's God's responsibility to pray. God sends me to, to, as Brother Troy said, to show the manifestation of God. Amen. But you Come know on. what? God's the one that's going to do this, the wonders. That's Come going on. to that's right. do the signs. God, my prayer is just use me. Bless God. Amen. I'm not worried about if anybody else wants to be used, but God, I know I do. Yeah. <laughs> if that means I have to crawl to the altar every time with people looking at me, you know, I thought he was saved, but, but he goes to that altar every time there's an altar call. You know what? Be careful what you say, because I may be going to that altar just for you. Just for your breakthrough. Amen. Just for your healing. Just for your loveness. Do I know him? No, but guess what God does? God knows his people. God knows you. You know what, God? I mean, I'm down here and, and I believe for breakthrough for everybody in this church and their family and friends. And I don't care well, I don't care if everybody agrees with me on that, but I need at least one more. Because the Bible says where two or three agree upon one thing, it shall come. So I need at least one more. I mean, can I get one more that, that will say, you know what, brother, I'll stand there with you. Yeah. You know, I'll be, I'll, I'll help you a pillar. I'm, you know, I'm not the head by no means. But God, I just want to be a part of the body. I, you know, just let me be a finger. That way, that way I can at least touch one key or hold out one cord or, or whatever it may be, God. Just, just let me be there. Just let me be a piece of hair that's just there just to, to show the beauty of God. Yes. Or, or whatever it may be, God. I just need at least one. You know? I got to... I gotta do more study of the Bible. Come on. I, I gotta read more. But I believe, I believe 
Somewhere in between Genesis and Revelation, it says that one can send a thousand to fight and two can send ten thousand. Yeah. But we got, what, 20 in? A lot? 20 more? 20, 21? How many can 21 send to fight? That's just, that's just a question I want you to think about. How much, if one, if, if two is 10,000, how many would? 21? Big numbers, big numbers. But you know what? It's it's nothing more than being a pivot because really what it is, it's the God that I have in me, which is the same God you have in you. But you know what? Our faith is coming together. So whenever it goes from that Matthew 17, 20, grain of a mustard seed. Whenever it goes from that, guess what? I, I have faith to, to move mountains in my life. But you know what? If, if mine and your faith get together, if we get in unity, one mile, one accord, then our faiths are going to conjoin. They're going to team up. And then God's going to buy, well, you know what? Two of us are seeds. Amen. You know what's really amazing, though? Mustard seed is probably the smallest seed in the world. It's very close to it. Have you ever seen the product of a mustard seed? It's like wildfire. It's like vines. It literally grows big enough to fill that whole wall. That's the product of a mustard seed. God used probably some, the smallest thing that we would, we would still have it have today that we would realize but the product of it for its size is enormous so God's saying if you have that you can take home this but you know what I'm just just have that but you know what eventually it's going to grow so if I got this whole wall worth of faith you got another whole wall worth of faith come on what's going to take place see the only limitations there is the limitations we put on God. Amen. God knows no limits. There's nothing God can't do. Right. But whenever we say God do this, but we get back up and we take it with us, as I said last night, and we take it right back out of his hand, guess what? We're, we're putting limits on God. Whether we realize it or not, we're putting limits on him. But there's nothing that God can't do. That's right. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Take the limits off. Prayer. Prayer is crucial. Amen. Prayer is your, your lifeline. More than that, prayer is your communication with nothing else. It's your communication. See, without communication in a relationship, you don't have too much of a relationship. I'm fine. I don't talk to God. I don't really have a relationship. Pastor Ray was saying, you need prayer, anything on your heart. Anything you want us to uh, simply come in agreement with. Now's the time.